Electric cars are currently the popular choice for consumers, especially in Norway. These help tremendously in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions and improving the air quality. Let's say you go to buy an electric car. What questions would you ask? Let me take a guess. You would ask about the range, right? So you should. You need to know how far can the car take you on a charge. You would probably ask about the charging time. What else could we ask? Who would ask about the recyclability of the battery? Why don't we ask it? Should we ask it? Let's say you do. What answers would you expect? Chances are that they don't know. Chances are that they've never been asked this question before. Most of the car dealers will have to pass on. They'll say they'll get back with an answer. When they do, their honest answer will be no. Best case, partially. Our car batteries are partially recycled. On the other hand, if they do come back and tell you that their car batteries are completely recycled, do not take their answer at the face value. No car batteries that have reached their end of life are totally recyclable or are totally recycled. What if I were to tell you that in 30 years from now, there's a high chance we're going to run out of some of the essential materials that make up a car battery, unless we recycle them. That would be catastrophic for a large number of utilities which run on batteries, smartphones, tablets, iPads. One of the materials that is definitely not being recycled is lithium. On an average, lithium makes up 2% by weight of a car battery. Although needed in small quantity, it can't do without it. There's a big challenge right there, the geographical distribution of lithium. Over 90% of the lithium output comes from Chile, Australia, and Argentina, from salty water, and through mining activities. This makes European Union the second largest importer of lithium in the world, although there are some reserves in Portugal, Spain, and Finland. If we were to consider the total number of electric cars sold just in the year of 2017, we would have used 10% of the Portuguese lithium reserves. The European Commission in its latest report has stated that there would be a 16-fold increase in the demand for lithium by the end of the decade and a 60-fold increase in the demand of lithium by 2050. We cannot let the lithium in our car batteries go to waste. We must recycle them. So why am I talking about recycling? Why not reuse? a retired life of the battery? Isn't that easier? Just to power street lamps? Well, in that case, we are talking about stockpiling huge volumes of end-of-life batteries, which are fire and safety hazards. So what volumes are we talking about here? If we would consider the end-of-life batteries by the end of decade, they would fill up as much as four times the Gibraltar Islands in the UK. Let's take a completely different scenario. Can we make car batteries without lithium? Well, there are several research investigations going on trying to produce non-lithium-based car batteries. Although the technologies are not ready enough to be in the market when they would be, they can't completely replace the lithium ion batteries. Therefore, we are left with only one option of recycling in order to get back the essential lithium. But recycling is difficult. Why so? 
As I told you before, most of the car batteries are partially recycled. Some of them are not recycled at all. The cost of recycling is too high. The cost of the process should be lower than the value of the materials recovered, which is simply not the case right now. These car batteries are designed for a minimum lifetime of 10 years, which means presently we just don't have enough volumes to make the recycling process cost effective. However, from 10 years from now, when these cars would have driven long enough, the batteries need to be replaced, and the volumes for recycling would not be a challenge. Having said all this, the technology for recycling is currently the biggest challenge. Current processes of recycling rely on throwing the battery parts into a furnace, whereby the essential lithium is lost. Chemical processes can be used to recover lithium, but that's not the industrial priority right now. Why so? There are no strict regulations guiding recycling. There are two important directives when it comes to recycling of car batteries. The European Commission directive related to recycling of batteries stipulates that 50% by weight of a car battery must be recycled. The European Commission directive with respect to end-of-life batteries and cars stipulates that 85% by weight of a car should be reused and recovered, unless there are more stringent legislations for recycling, there would be industrial shortcuts. So let's assume 10 years down the line, there would be enough volumes that would be needed to be recycled. There would be demanding legislations which will govern recycling. But will the technology be robust enough to handle all different types of batteries? There lies a basic problem in the design of the batteries. I'll show you why. These are two different battery cell types, the prismatic cell and the leaf cell. They look very different in design, right? They also have very different battery chemistries. These batteries, they make up the modules, and the modules then finally make up the battery pack. And that is what drives the electric car. So the volume and the scale at which we are talking about recycling, there needs to be an easier disassembly of the batteries. Currently, most of the work is done by hands, by people who are skilled enough not to hurt themselves, However, they, these batteries can explode, and when they do, they release noxious gases. Additionally, the sealants and the adhesives which are used in the battery pack make the disassembly work very hard. Robotic disassembly shall be the future solution. The robots shall be fast enough to handle huge volumes of batteries, and cause minimum risk to human beings. But for robots to deliver their full potential, there should be standardized designs for the batteries. A change in the design will also be a win for the manufacturers who are looking for cheaper raw materials. Easier disassembly would mean that you can extract the valuable mat materials in a cleaner state which can then be sold or used for battery manufacturing. Therefore, the idea designed for recycle needs to be introduced into battery manufacturing. There needs to be closer tie-ups between the car makers and the recyclers. But is it just them? We all have a role in this. We are in a situation where we need to mine the essential materials from urban commodities, such as batteries. Urban mining shall be the future. There needs to be action from the policymakers, 
the car manufacturers, the battery manufacturers, the car dealers, car users, recyclers, and researchers like us, all along the value chain. If you are sitting and thinking that not using electric cars will be the solution, then let me tell you this. The same materials make up the batteries which run your smartphones, laptops, iPads. You definitely don't want to lose them. What can you and me do? We all have a small voice, but together we have a huge voice. If we start asking the right question and put the recyclability of battery a criterion for our purchase, manufacturers will listen. In the beginning, maybe just one, but others will soon follow. Every small step will add. In this small town of Trondheim, if you wanted vegetarian food at a restaurant a few years ago, you would be served a menu from the meal without the fish or the meat. And now, there are fancy vegan dishes available on the menu. Why so? People wanted it, they asked the right question, and the restaurants put it as a criterion on their menu. So, the next time you go to buy an electric car, besides asking for the range and the charging time, please do ask about the recyclability of the battery. Thank you.